Hey guys, Pro Dr. Sadak here and welcome back to another Roblox video. Today I'm gonna show you how to get the Relic of Control, complete the third trial and unlock Aquaman's Trident in the Aquaman event on Roblox. Alright, so to do this you have to be in the event game on Roblox, a link will be in the description down below. You have to be level 30 at least and have completed the previous two trials before. Now, I'm gonna show you exactly where to go to get to the trial, so just follow along. You can see this is the spawn area, so you just want to follow me and I'll show you where the trial teleporter is. Alright, we have now reached the third trial teleporter, yes we up to it and then press the open button. And in here we have three modes, we got solo mode, we got party mode, and we got join queue. Now for this video I'm gonna do solo mode, but it's much easier with a party of course. Alright, and when you're downloading into the trial of control, we're gonna swim straight forward and you will see four chests in the room ahead of you. Now each of these chests gives you one random ability, you can only pick one, so just pick one and you will get whatever you get. Um, it is randomized completely so you don't know what you get, as you can see what I got was some health recovery. And then you want to swim forward and you will see this red light bulb and you just want to hit this and that will unlock the gate right in front of you. So just hit this thing. Perfect, it will turn blue and the gate will unlock to the next room. You would then want to go into this room and you will have four enemies in here. You will have two mercenary bots and two warden bots. These should be very easy to defeat. Once defeated, the next room will unlock, so just swim upwards and swim into this room right here. You will then get into this very big room with a little cutscene. And here we just have to fight all of these robots, I'm gonna speed this up because it's just some fighting. Once you've defeated all the robots, the next room will unlock, so swim into this room. And in here you will have a ton of enemies. Again, I gotta defeat all of these, I'm just gonna speed it up a bit. Now you can see in this clip that I did the die from the Forcer robots twice, but it doesn't matter because if you die you respawn in the room, you can just keep going. Now once all the enemies are defeated, make sure you equip the Hurricane Blast from your inventory, and then you want to swim over to the pile of rocks. And then you want to swim over to the pile of rocks to the right. There are three of them, but you want to go to the one to the right. And then use Hurricane Blast on the rocks right there. So just do that right there. And that will destroy all the rocks you can swim through. Alright, so just go through this corridor right here. And on the other side you will get a little cutscene that will show you the Horn of Control. So what we want to do is swim down and collect this one right here, and that will give us a brand new ability in our taskbar. Alright, so this horn is going to be one of the main parts of this whole trial. So what we want to do is walk over to these crabs over here that are right in front of where it spawns. And you want to use the horn to lure them after you, because they will actually follow you along when you use it. Now, when they walk, they will stop after a few seconds, so you gotta keep doing it over and over again. But keep doing it and they will follow you up this little path here. And they will also destroy all the red plants as well as open any gates with the octopus symbols. So we gotta lead them up to the door. So this may take a while, I've sped it up a bit, but you can see we're just gonna lead them all the way up here and when they touch the door they will open it for you. So in this next room there will be three enemies, I'm just gonna defeat them really fast. 
And once that's done, you can see this three little red light pops down here. We want to activate all of these three, and it will create a path that we can use to lure a little crab over to the octopus door. So we're going to activate all of these, like that. And then on the right there will be a little, little crabby boy, and we're just going to use the horn again to lure this guy all the way over to the gate to open it for us. Once he has unlocked the gate, we can press the next red light, that will unlock another part of the path. Then we want to lure the crab back again, and you will find this little hole with boxes covering it. You want to destroy all these boxes, and then activate the light inside with the enemy. You can also destroy the enemy if you want to, and then make sure the light is blue. So if you now look around, you can see that we have created a path, but there's one part missing, and that is the last light bulb in this room. So if you look at this wall up here, there's one light bulb in the wall. Activate that, and the whole path will be succeeded for a little crab friend. So now we just gotta fool the crab all the way back to the path. Now this path that I was trying to take was a bit too tricky because the crab actually fell right through. So what I did instead is that I fooled him onto this part and then waited for him to stop moving on top of this part in the middle. And when I had done that, I just pressed the light right here that flipped it over and now I could lead him over to the path that we had created super easily. Now we just need to lead the crab to the very top to unlock the gate for us. When the gate is open, we can enter the next room. In here, we will have four enemies and three gates. So, start off by defeating all the enemies in here, should be very easy. And then, when you're done that, we gotta lead the crab back in here, because there are two octopus doors in here that he has to unlock. Now, in each of these doors, there are also two light bulbs, we have to activate them to open the last gate. So we'll swim up to this gate and swim through this little hallway. Then, we will have two enemies ahead, as well as the light bulbs, we have to defeat the two enemies. Then hit the light bulb to unlock the door to the next room. In this next room there are a ton of enemies so I'm quickly gonna speed this up and defeat all of them. And once you're done with that swim over to this duck boat ship and then hit the light switch behind that to unlock a little cell for a crab. You then want to lead this crab over to the red plants that are blocking the entrance to the next room. And the crab will actually cut them down for you, so we're gonna lead him over here. Just like that, we can pass it to the next room. So in here there will be three enemies, so just defeat all of them. And then you can proceed through the level. We'll then come into this room with a cutscene that says find a way out of the maze. Alright, so this might sound hard but it's very easy. We just have to swim straight up and forward. And then a bit to the left and you should find this cage full of crabs. So we just want to click the little light switch outside of the cage and that will unlock it so we can bring them with us on our adventure. So using the horn we just gotta make these crabs follow us. And to find the right path, just follow the red plants. So, so bring the crabs through all the red plants and you will soon find this spot with a lot of enemies. So defeat all the enemies and then let the crabs eat up all the rest of the red plants so you can get through to this next room. Once the crabs has opened the gate, go through into the next room and defeat the three enemies in there, and then continue on. When you get to this crystal looking area, you will be pushed up by bubbles into another little section here. And if you continue forward, you will find this big room with a huge ship and a cutscene. Once the cutscene is over, swim over to the ship and defeat all the enemies around the ship. What we then want to do is go inside of the ship right here, and we want to use the step ability on the orb to unlock the floorboard on the ship. 
We can now swim into the ship and go under the ship to continue to the next part of the level. You'll then find yourself in this crystal cave with three enemies, as usual just defeat them, and then get into the next room with a cutscene. When the cutscene is over, just swim over the terrain ahead of you and you will find this big door with 5 Roman numerals. Now these are corresponding to 5 orbs in this room, but we have to do them in the right order or whatever. So you can see on the door that they're either black or purple, if they're purple then they're electrocuted, if they're black then they've been inked. Now we gotta find these orbs and the ones that are supposed to be on so they have to be on and those that are supposed to be off has to be off. It's very very easy to understand and hopefully that's enough to explain it. For an example we have orb number 4 over here and if we look over at the door it's supposed to be on so we can electrocute this orb with the electrocute ability and then that one is activated as it should be. We then have number 5 over here that also has to be on so I'm going to turn that on. And last but not least I need to find number 2 that is also supposed to be on and that is over here. So we're going to zoom over to this orb and activate it and once we are done with the order we are able to pass through the next door. In the sex room there are a bunch more enemies so defeat them just as usual. We then get into this big room with a big hole in the middle as well as two sharks on the side. You want to swim up to one of the sharks, press E on it and that will allow you to ride it. So now just go down into the hole and follow the cave, it's super fun. Just go for this whole cave, it's very long so I'm gonna speed it up. Soon enough you will find yourself at this grand hall and when you swim in here there will be a cutscene showing you the relic of control. When the cutscene is over you want to swim over to the relic and collect it. You will then get teleported back into the Rolantis game. Once you're back here we want to swim all the way back to spawn which takes a while so I'm gonna speed this up this time since you already know the path here. And then here at spawn you want to enter the giant castle of Orlantis. It's the one with the big giant Aquaman logo in front of it. Just go in there and you will see this big door with three slots for the relics that we have collected. So just go up there and then press E on the door to put them in. And then wait for a few seconds and the door will unlock. We can now swim inside and collect Aquaman's uh, little trident by just touching it in front of us. Now there were people standing there so you could barely see but it's right there. And then when you touch it, you get the badge as well as Aquaman's trident, and that is how we do it. So if you all found the video helpful, please like down below if you did, and don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications to miss any of our future videos. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye. Top hat blocks, dead bird, and even Ethan Gamer. That's the homies when they get together. It's wild. Now watch them take another win. I'm talking Island Royale. Duck, duck. Mr. Duck, subscribe now.